So for this video guys, I'm switching it up a little bit. I'm going to be reacting to a scene from No Country for Old Man. And the scene I'm going to be reacting to is the coin toss scene in the store. So the reason why I got to react to this video guys is because of the acting level. It's so high up there that you got to respect this scene. You got to, if you haven't watched this movie, go watch the movie first before you watch the scene. Because you'll have a little bit more context into what's going on. But this scene is just brilliantly acted. I mean, Javier Bardem, I think this scene alone won him the Oscar, but pretty much he's playing a hitman in Anton Chigurh, a menacing character, probably the scariest character I've ever seen on screen. And um, the reason why I say that is because he's pretty much a hitman, a hired hitman, a hired gun or whatever, but he has no conscience. So everybody he comes in contact with, he's open to killing. No matter who you are, no matter what situation you're in, he may kill you. And the only way you could get out of him killing you is the coin toss, right? So if you guess right, he'll let you live. If you guess wrong, you're dead. And he's going to kill you brutally, violently. It's just crazy, the acting performance in this movie. And this scene just embodies what I'm saying. So guys, let's jump into the clip and uh, we'll have a little discussion after. Let's go. I'm not going to talk that much during the scene, guys. <clears throat> Sixty-nine, see? And the gas. Y'all getting any rain up here, right? <clears throat> what way would that be? I seen you was from Dallas. Well, it isn't necessarily of your Damn. where I'm from. Friendo. Friendo. I didn't mean nothing by it. It didn't mean nothing. It's just passing the time. You don't want to accept that. I don't know what else I can do for you. <laughs> Might be something else. I don't know. Will there? <laughs> Is something wrong? With what? With anything. Is that what you're asking me? Is there something wrong with anything? Will there be anything else? You already asked me that. Well, I need to see about closing then. <coughs> see about closing? Yes, sir. What time do you close? Now. We close now. No, it's not a time. What time Shit. do you close? Generally around dark. At dark. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Sir? I said, you don't know what you're talking about. Straight up. What time do you go to bed? Sir? You're a bit deaf, aren't you? I said, what time do you go to bed? Oh. Somewhere around 9.30. I'd, I'd say around 9.30. I could come back then. Why would you be coming back? We'll be closed. Yeah, you said that. Well, I got to <laughs> close now. You live in that house all oh, back. Oh, gee. Yes, I do. You lived here all your life? This is my wife's father's place, uh, originally. <laughs> you married into it? We lived in Temple, Texas for many years. Raised a family there in Temple. We come out here about four years ago. You married into that? <laughs> That's the way you want to put it. Well, I don't have some way to That's put it. That's the way it is. That's the way it Ooh. is. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Sir? The most you ever lost on a coin toss? I don't know. I couldn't say. Oh. Call it. Call it, yes. <laughs> Just call it. Well, we need to know what we're calling it for here. You need to call it. I can't call it for you. Well, it wouldn't be fair. I didn't put nothing up. Yes, you did. You've been putting it up your whole life. You just didn't know it. You know what date is on this coin? No. 1958. Oof. 
It's been traveling 22 years to get here. And now it's here. And it's either heads or tails. And you have to say, call it. Well, look, I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. How's that? You stand to win everything, call it. All right. Heads, then. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Don't put it in your pocket, sir. Don't put it in your pocket. It's your lucky quarter. Where do you want me to put it? Anywhere, not in your pocket. But it'll get mixed in with the others and become majestic oil. Which it is. What a troll, huh? Like, holy smokes, what a scene. Unbelievable acting, guys. Unbelievable scene. Like I said, this probably won Javier Bardem the Oscar. That scene alone, just unbelievable stuff, guys. But uh, the reason why I like Anton Chigurh, if you watch carefully when he flipped the coin, is he says, I can't call it for you. You have to call it yourself. He's pretty much like, he thinks that he's doing fate's job. You know what I mean? He thinks that he's still leaving it up to the people to choose whether or not he's going to kill them, right? He's, he doesn't blame himself for killing the people. It's really up to them. They have a choice. Heads or tails, live or die, you know? And they have to choose. He can't choose for them. There's only one person in the movie that kind of outthinks him, but she, he ends up killing her anyways. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you know the movie, if you watch the movie, you already know who I'm talking about. She kind of outthinks him, but he still ends up killing her anyways. Another reason why I like Anton Chigurh in this movie is because you don't have that much background information about him. And this is another reason why I like villains and someone like the Joker in The Dark Knight. If you listen closely in The Joker in uh, The Dark Knight, he never really gives you a concrete answer to where he got his scars from. He's always switching it up. Every story that he tells you is different. And the reason why I equate that to like Anton Chigurh in this movie is you don't really know anything about him. You don't know his past. You don't know who hired him. You don't know where he's coming from. You don't know where he is. All you know is when he's on the screen, he's very menacing and he's very terrifying. So I really love how they made that happen. I love that you always have that mystery of like, what is he doing this for? Why, who hired him? Who, you know, like, where is he coming from? Where is he going, you know? But you never really get those answers. And I always feel like that makes a villain a lot stronger, a lot more compelling because they're more wild, right? They're more out out there. You just don't know anything about them. They could be in the next scene and they could be killing shit, you know? So I always just appreciate that. Like I said, if you haven't seen this movie, go check it out, No Country for Old Men. Let me know what movie clips you guys want to see me react to next because I will react to them. I will check them out. But if you like this video, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section what you want to see next. But I'm going to wrap this up. So take care of yourself, guys. Stay safe because it is a crazy world and there are a lot of crazy people. But most importantly, guys, peace.